I did something crazy. I did. But for my long-term followers, you guys are used to crazy on this channel. Okay guys, so I did a thing. But you know, it's not uncustomary for me at Paddy Wagon Travels to do crazy stuff on this channel. For those of you who've been with me a long time, you know it's true. So, what is the crazy thing I did? We'll get into that in a minute. But first I need to talk about what inspired me to do what I did. So, we'll get into that too. So in the meantime, welcome back to Paddy Wagon Travels. I'm glad you're here, I'm glad you're hanging around and we're gonna start spurring some interest on this channel. I mean, come on, 115 to 145 views on a video, not a whole lot. So clearly my subscribership is a little bored with me. So maybe this is gonna spike it up a little bit or spice it up a little bit, who knows? But stay tuned, there's lots of information coming your way. All right, YouTubers and RV fans and van lifers. Oh, did I just give a hint? I think I did. Of course, it's pretty evident what I'm driving, I think, so. But anyway, um, one of the things that I said earlier, uh, yesterday actually, this is the next day, uh, in the video was that uh, I was inspired to start looking for a different type of uh, way to travel. Um, for those of you who've been on my channel for a long time, you know that I have had a number of RVs. Um, I started out with my first RV, which was a Class A Winnebago Sightseer. And actually, that's what prompted me to start following this, um, this one uh, YouTube channel. Uh, actually, I followed a couple people who had Sightseers. And, um, and I'm still following them as we speak. But anyway, um, I traded in Myrtle, which was the name of my RV, for a Heritage Glen from Forest River. Um, and I traveled out to Quartzsite in that, um, pulling it with an F-150. But, you know, an F-150, while it's great, um, while it's a great truck and I love it, it just did not have the capacity to um, be real stable on the road. And actually, it kind of gave me some white knuckle driving as well as the Class A did. Um, and it just wasn't comfortable for me. So I thought, well, maybe I would go ahead and trade that for a Class C, thinking that the Class C would be a lot more, um, um, a lot easier for me to drive. And it was, the Class C was actually great to drive. The problem I had with the Class C is that it was bulky and big, and it was tough to fit into parking spaces, and I couldn't um, tow um, my truck without having a substantial investment in money to, you know, upgrade the suspension. So, but I ended up having that Class C for close to three years and traveled all over the country with it. Um, you know, as most of you know, I traveled a lot with Mike and Don from Rand Bits RV, and they are a great couple to travel with. Um, and so it wasn't a real big deal not to have a vehicle to travel with. Now, some of you remember that my son, Alex, traveled with me as well as my mom, um, Mama, Mama Wags. She traveled with me, and in both cases, uh, Alex and Mama Wags both drove my truck behind the RV, which became a little bit of a hassle because, you know, it kind of restricted me that, you know, I wasn't able to necessarily travel without having somebody, you know, drive the truck for me. So anyway, uh, at the point of COVID, uh, I made the decision to um, trade in the uh, F-150 and I ended up getting an F-250 and a travel trailer that actually um, worked out very well for me. The sad part about it was, of course, I traded in the um, the Class C too. So, but the sad part of it was with COVID, I wasn't able to travel at all because of the restrictions. Anyway, continuing on this story, uh, Mike and Don came up and visited with me um, probably year two or three um, after COVID. Well, well uh, at COVID, I had also bought a home base, which we've already been through, so we already know that. Um, I ended up taking the um, the trailer and the F two fifty out. And I went to Asheville, visited my my uh, my son and his wife and my grandchild, and then came back and then went down to Mississippi. And I was down there for about two or three weeks. And you know, again, it was just this this arduous thing of 
you know, everything's so big and bulky. There's just no flexibility for boondocking. There's no flexibility. I mean, I have to have a campsite. You know, it's just, it's just such a pain. And so I follow this one YouTuber. His name is RB Jedi. I'm not sure if you follow him or not, but I'll link him in the description. And he also had a Winnebago sightseer, and that's when I started following him. And his story was quite compelling because the engine gave out on his Winnebago sightseer. And so he ended up donating it to a charity, which is a very noble thing to do, by the way. And he spent the next, I don't know, six to eight months to a year um, exploring the type of travel he wanted to do. And it really, what happened is, I don't even think he realizes how many people he influenced, but for me, um, that his influence in taking me through all the different types of RVs um, really led me down the road of saying, you know what? Maybe I do want to travel in something smaller. Maybe I want something that can be my daily driver so that I'm just used to driving it all the time and also allows me to pull over and sightsee and doesn't necessarily require that I have to have a RV park reservation. Now, if I want one, I can get one, but I can pretty much boondock anywhere, especially if it's self-contained. Well, anyway, long story short, RV Jedi ended up purchasing a 2018 Winnebago Travato. Uh, I think it's a 59K. Beautiful RV. And um, RV Jedi, if you're watching this, great choice. Anyway, he inspired me to say, you know what? Maybe this is the way I want to travel. So, folks, I want to let you know that I actually traded in and bought a 2023 Thor Scope 18M. And as you can see from the background of the video, that's what I'm traveling in right now. And so this thing is magnificent. First of all, the notion that you need to buy used is so right because the previous owners have really vetted through a lot of the issues and, and that's really a wonderful thing. So you don't have to worry so much about vetting through those issues. Um, and uh, the dealership really did a great job in delivering a product that, you know, has everything working quite nicely. So um, anyway, to make a long story short, I'm gonna be giving a tour of my um, Thor, um, scope 18M uh, in a future video so stay tuned for that and uh, we're gonna start documenting van life guys I mean that's what we're gonna be doing so it's exciting all right here it is this is the 2023 Thor scope 18M on a Ram 1500 Promaster and as you can see here, it's got a really nice profile. The van itself um, is used and it has uh, 20, well, I had 22,000 miles on it when I bought it. It has solar. It's got a 195 watt solar panel on the top. Um, but more than sufficient to address any power needs that I have. But it's very pretty. It's very compact and it drives beautiful. So let's see here. I think it's locked, but yeah, it's locked up. But I'll go ahead and give you all a full tour at my next video, so stay tuned.